Welcome to Tri Delta. I'm Kendra, Vice President of Membership. And I'm Bree, Assistant Vice President of Membership. Being in Tri Delta means so much more to us than just being in a sorority. Today you'll get a chance to see the inside of our house, which is located on Greek Row, only two blocks away from campus. Our house holds up to 46 members and we have a two-year or six-term live-in requirement. We've made so many incredible memories in this house and we can't wait to show it to you today. This is our main living room where members spend a lot of time hanging out. Normally, any member is welcome to visit the house at any time, regardless of whether they're currently living in or not. During the pandemic, we have different restrictions to limit people coming in and out to keep everyone safe. One of my favorite memories associated with the living room is our pine party, where we have our alumni over and decorate the house for the holidays and sing Christmas carols. Last year, me and my Tri Delta fam all got matching pajamas and took pictures with the tree for our Christmas card, and it was super fun. Around the corner, we have a bathroom on the main floor and our TV room, a favorite spot for members to watch movies together with a ton of snacks. This is the TV room. This is where I watch all of the movies, and we have Bachelor Monday, which is super fun. I hung out here all the time when I lived in. Our house mom's name is Megan, and this is her room on the first floor. Her role is to support us and communicate with our chef and house staff, as well as help with repairs around the house. She also has a bunny named Neville and a dog named Merlin. This is our dining room where we eat meals, do homework with friends, and host different activities like sisterhood, philanthropy, and academic events. Normally, we all gather here on Monday nights for dinner before heading to chapter. One of the nice things about living in is that we have house staff who do dishes for us and serve our dinner on Mondays. We're super excited about our new chef this year. They cater to dietary restrictions and make sure there's food for everyone to eat. Members also have partial access to the kitchen so that they can make their own food and store leftovers and snacks for when the chef isn't here. Hi, we are now in the basement. Um, this is a great place to hang out with friends. I know I've pulled an all-nighter down here before. It's just really fun to hang out in. Um, we also have our officer room down here, which has a lot of different supplies for the officer positions. We also have a couple of desks in the back, which is a great place to do homework if you need a quiet space. Um, speaking of school, we have a 2.5 GPA requirement, and um, that's required throughout your membership here at Tri Delta. Our laundry room has two washers and two dryers for members to clean their clothes whenever they need. This is our back deck. This is one of my favorite places to hang out during spring term. My freshman year, I would come over here and hang out with my big in between classes. And it's also a really fun place to come outside and eat dinner when you live in. And it's just one of our members' favorite places to hang out, I'd say. My other favorite things about the back deck are how beautiful it looks at night with our string lights up and being able to get some fresh air when it's nice outside. Before we continue, I want to go over finances a little bit. You have our detailed sheet in front of you, so feel free to reference that, but paying our dues goes towards things like our national dues, meals for when you live in, rent for when you live in, and house maintenance kind of things. We do have a payment plan, so if you choose to do that, you can pay your bill in two separate payments while still paying the total amount. But paying our dues allows us to do things like have fun events and create opportunities for all of you. As we walk up the stairs, we have all of our officers on display. We have over 30 positions available, so if you're looking for leadership opportunities, Tri Delta is a great place for that, and we have a wide variety of creative and administrative jobs. We have a short wing and a long wing in our second floor. This is the short wing, which has a bathroom and two day rooms. Our bathrooms are super updated and clean. From the short wing out back, you can see our parking lot, which has 17 spots, allowing for almost half of the live-ins to have one. Hi, my name is Peyton and I'm the room head for room two. Here at Tri Delta, how room heads work is girls get to apply to be the head of a room, and when they get selected, they get to decorate the room however they want, and it stays like that all year. So the theme that I have for my room is desert sunsets. There's a lot of pinks and yellows and lots of cactuses and succulents. It's really fun. One of the perks of living in is that most rooms have these huge closets. Definitely an improvement from the residence halls if you lived on campus before. Out here is the long wing with seven more day rooms, a bathroom, and the shower room. We have five showers so no one has to wait for one. Our bathrooms also have plenty of storage for members to keep some of their items. We also have a cleaning service in addition to our weekly chores. 
Each member gets one chore to do per week, but common spaces are also cleaned twice a week by our cleaning service normally. Another room on the second floor is our pansy lounge. I've used it before to make phone calls if there were a lot of people in my room or sometimes to do homework in. One of the unique programs that Tri-Delta has created nationally is Body Image 3D. This wall in our house is a reminder of that program, which was made to help our members and community with their body image, mental health, and overall self-confidence. Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to my room. Um, this is room 8, and my theme is Delta Dreams, so it's kind of like clouds and pastel. Um, in Tri-Delta, our, our rooms in the house can hold three to six people. Um, and each term you get to request which room you want um, and you can switch up your roommates each term which is really fun. Um, but the room head gets to pick the decoration so I decorated the room for this term. Every live-in member gets their own desk, a vanity, dresser, and closet space in their room. Um, the reason I picked this room is because it has really good lighting, like it's very open and airy because it's kind of facing outside on three of the four walls, which is really nice. Um, so there's a lot of open space and it's nice to have plants in the sun. Another cool thing we have in our hallway is this map representing every Tri-Delta chapter across the country. A great reminder that our sisterhood is greater than just the piece we've built here at OSU. The third floor has two of our larger rooms, a bathroom, and our sleeping porch. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm room head for Penthouse. My theme is jungle. Um, each term, live-ins get to switch rooms, so they get to meet new people and see other members. So all of the desks are kind of custom-made to each individual. Um, that's Lauren's desk, this is Danny's desk, and this is mine. I think my favorite thing about the room are definitely all of the vanities. Um, this year we get two each, which is super cool and super pretty. Every room also has a day bed, which is a great place to take naps. We have one sleeping porch divided into two sections, the loud section where you can have alarms or if you snore and sleep talk, and the quiet section in the back where you can only have vibrating alarms. It's always 24 hour darkness and I've had some of the best sleep of my life in here. Thank you for joining us on our house tour today. We look forward to meeting some of you very soon.